guys welcome back to the pinchy channel i'm your host the pinchy and today we're going to be doing a ranking of all the tamers in digimon masters let's get to it all right guys and welcome back to the ranking of all the tamers i'm pretty sure i have all of them here i had to do it this way because their website was not working properly so we're gonna do it this way uh let's get right to it we're gonna start with marcus marcus the boy marcus hmm okay looking at it here it has an attack skill named bash it says punches the enemy causing damage it has a 30 second cooldown and it's basically six times the amount of the tamer uh attack uh this is uh i'm i'm not gonna be gonna talk about this too much this guy's trash el trasho going down at the bottom there okay let's move on let's move on uh, uh let's get to the good ones get to the bad ones we'll just go as fast as possible next one we have tomas the good old thomas thomas is going to have a skill that's called insight it is going to increase the chance of a critical hit by a hundred percent for 30 seconds now if you ask me that is not as trash as marcus but i would still consider this to be not very good we're gonna put it in c tier here all right moving on we're gonna talk about yoshino yoshino is going to be um a protection skill uh nullify damages from attacks or skills for three seconds it has a three minute cooldown but it protects you from anything for three seconds honestly if timed right Listen to me, if timed right, depending on the dungeon, I think this is easily an S tier, okay? A lot of the game is about avoiding certain skills at certain times. Actually, that's why some of the triple S plus Digimon are considered to be really good because they'll have um, times where they can um, be invincible. So I think this is actually a really good character for that, for that and that only. All right, the next one we got Keenan, the boy Keenan. Uh, he's going to have an ability called Shock. Is going to, um, the critical hit damage is going to increase by 100% for 30 seconds. This is actually not bad. Um, critical damage um, by 100%. We already know that critical damage is huge in this game. We always reroll for, uh, for, your, for your clothing, for, um, you know, necklaces and bracelets and stuff for, for critical damage. So I think that that is definitely a good, good skill. Um, I wouldn't call it an S tier, but I think I'm going to leave this guy as a A tier because it's pretty, it's pretty good, pretty decent. I like it. Moving on, we're going to go with my boy, the one and only Ty. Ty is going to have a Berserker um, ability, increases your Digimon's attack by 50% for 30 seconds. This is one of the best abilities in the game when it comes to just throwing around damage. I like him a lot. Um, I wouldn't say he's the best uh, tamer out there, but I he's my favorite, and that's why I always use him. So we're, I definitely have to be biased and put in an S tier. Uh, moving on, we got Mimi. Uh, Mimi is going to have a, a good ability by recovering everybody's hp by 40 percent i think this is actually very good uh depending on which dungeon you're going in i think this is easily another s tier um she is going to help heal healing is clutch in this game very needed um and if you can do 40 percent to everybody in the party i think that is a absolutely insane ability we're gonna move on here we got uh tk tk is gonna have a cheer ability one of the most 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 awesome abilities that is going to recover your hp and ds all the way all the way to full uh this is like a last resort i'm gonna die kind of ability i love it i absolutely love this ability really good it has a three minute cooldown so it's not too terrible definitely an s tier uh matt we're gonna talk about matt the boy matt here has a ability called vigor which is a uh, skill damage 30 percent increase for 30 seconds has a three minute cooldown now this one skill damage is very important in this game as well um depending on which skill you're going to use it in it could be very good for burst damage it only has a three minute cooldown i like him i think this is easily going to uh, see uh, this one is between a b and an a tier for me um let's go with an a tier for now unless um you know we make changes later but we're gonna put him in the B tier here. There you go. Let's go. All right. Moving on. We got Kari. The broken character. <laughs> Dude, Kari is so insane. 
Uh, encouragement. We all know it. HP of all party members is going to increase for 30% for three minutes. Okay. Uh, with a five minute cooldown. I think this is a very good ability. It's basically an extra tree of life. Very used in lots of dungeons. You are easily an S tier. You can go hang out with your bestie TK. All right. Easy, easy peasy. So now, um, and again, and this is also because of uh, what people use. Uh, that's another very popular character. Kari, TK, Mimi. They're all very popular characters when it comes to Digimon Master. You see everybody running around with them. All right, Sora. We're going to talk about Sora. Sora is going to have an ability called impreg uh, impregna Impregnableness. Um, and this is going to decrease all damage uh, from attack or skill for 30 seconds. Oh, sorry. It's going to reduce the attack or skill damage by 30% for 13 seconds. Very good, though I would argue that obviously uh the other one is better sora i like the effect i think i'm going to put it as a b our first b tier we're sora there you go um i think it's a good ability nothing too crazy it's definitely useful but i just don't think it's as useful as the other one especially for dungeon running and everything else izzy the boy izzy he's going to have analysis as his ability he's going to increase uh digimon's critical damage by 150 percent but this is only last five seconds, so it's basically the same thing as Keenan, but um, it's more. It's 150 percent, but you also lose 23 seconds. And I, I, I just the time in this game it helps a lot with DPS. I would say that he is probably, unfortunately, going to be a B tier just because I feel like Keenan is better. So we're gonna grab Izzy and put him as a B tier character. All right, moving on. And moving on we got joe joe the good old joe and sorry guys that i'm looking this way but that's where i have all my notes joe is going to have the ability evade he is going to increase the ability to go straight to d tier by a hundred percent where's joe you are going straight d tier my dude like there's no arguing on this one uh evasion in this game is very tricky but um useless useless takato he's gonna have the ability focus is going to increase the skill damage for you and your party members by 10 percent for 30 seconds i'm not even kidding i think that this ability is very underrated i think that this is um at least a b tier honestly i think that the ability to increase your skill damage by 10 percent on top of like if somebody has kizuna like for agumon for bravery i think that is a very like i know people don't like talk about it too much i think it's pretty decent i think at least a b tier for sure henry henry's our next guy henry's gonna have the ability guard he's going to reduce the damage uh for you and your party members for 30 per by 30 percent for eight seconds so again i <sighs> do we like this better than sora that's the question right because they're about the same so sora is going to See, the thing with him, Henry, as opposed to Sora, sorry, Sora only decreases yours by 30% for 13 seconds. But I think uh, Henry is going to do it for all party members for 8 seconds. I think that because he protects... You know what? We might do a change here. I think I might put Henry... We're going to put Henry in Sora's spot, and we're going to drop Sora to C tier. Because I think that if, if we're going to, the reason why we're doing this, I think I would put them both at B. But if you, if I have to pick between one or the other, I think I'm going, I go with Henry here. Because he's going to do it for all the party members. Even though it's less time, it's still, you're going to do it for everybody else in the party. And I just think that's substantially better than Sora. And so we're going to drop Sora to C tier. Uh, Rika. Aim. Aim. Increase your Digimon's hit rate by 300%. With a base value of you're going straight to D tier as well. There are other ways where you can increase your hit rate. There's chips. Uh, we can reroll certain things. I just don't think that this is actually useful in any way, shape, or form. So we're going to put you straight to D tier. Okay, we got two characters left. We got uh, Rio with the suppression. He's going to give a 10 second buff that is going to increase your Digimon's attack by 100% of his base value. And it's going to increase your skill damage by 60%. This is easily, easily an S tier. This might be the best character when it comes to DPS and for um, rushing 
uh, period in the game, even better than Berserker, I think, from Ty. Ty is more consistent. It has a faster cooldown. This guy's cooldown is seven minutes, so uh, you're literally gonna use it once, and that is it for the dungeon, honestly. But I just think that the increase of skill damage by 60% and your 100% increase of base value for attack, I think that's just too good to not put um, as an S tier. And then finally, we have the last character, and she is going to be using the ability Naive, and it's gonna give a two minute buff, which is gonna increase your HP by 15%. Uh, and it's going to increase your Digimon's defense. I think that this is just a, um, a worse version of Kari, to be completely honest, and a pretty much a much worse version than Kari. So we're going to put it in C tier. Um, and I think I'm pretty comfortable with what I see here. There is a lot of S tier characters, which is really good because that, that creates more versatility for the players. I know a lot of people are going to be like a little bit on the, eh, maybe this one, maybe not, but I just think that this looks good. I am comfortable saying this. Guys, you can always argue like oh it's my favorite character i want to use him and that's what i do with ty he just happens to be good too but like i think that as long as you don't go with the, these six right here i think you can utilize your your tamers to a really good level in my opinion just don't pick any of these six these guys are outdated they're not useful in dungeons i just don't think they're very good as opposed to the rest of them you have a shot at using them and being useful for dungeons or for just your personal play but anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh ranking for the tamers um hope you guys like the video i uh, want to hear your comments below whether you agree or disagree and we'll see you guys in the next one peace